Prince A, welcome back. It's been a minute since the last time I did some makeup on here. So today I'm gonna try some new products and unbox some stuff for you guys. But I'm also gonna go ahead and put it out there, give you guys an update on my microbladed brows. Basically giving you all the tea and telling you the stuff that you should know before you go out and get it. Maybe it'll kind of like make you pump your brakes. Maybe it'll make you be like, let me go ahead and do it. ColourPop actually sent me some goodies and they sent it before it had launched and they told me to pump my brakes and not to post anything yet. They actually gave me the okay like a while ago, but by the time they had given me the okay, I just had a lot of stuff going on with um, work and clients and I went to Vegas and that Vegas trip, I'm not a Vegas girl, Vegas drained me. It drains me to be around so many people. The event was great, so wonderful, it was so empowering. Um, it was the Women Who Slay event, and that was great. But being in Vegas, staying at the Cosmopolitan, drained me. <laughs> Let's get into this chic ColourPop line. So lately I haven't really been into wearing a lot of makeup or makeup at all. I, um, I think that event was like the only time I put makeup on, like, I feel like all month long. It's called Pretty Fresh and it's a tinted moisturizer. And the color that worked for me is Deep Dark 21W. It has hyaluronic acid. I usually don't like tinted moisturizers, but with this one, I just, I actually find myself using it. They also sent over their hyaluronic acid. I'm just gonna say HA because it's just a lot shorter. Um, their HA Setting Mist. All of the products that I'm using from this ColourPop line has HA in it. Uh, so it's gonna give you really nice moist skin and um, keep you with that beautiful glow, that beautiful dewy glow that I actually love, so. I really like the packaging too, it's just cool. Um, but I'm not gonna focus too much on it. Also, they have a HA Acid Primer. We gonna start with the primer, but I'm gonna bring you in. Still on my no dairy kick, but this is still happening. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to just go see a dermatologist. So my skin isn't in the best condition at this moment, which is another reason why I've been staying away from makeup and drinking a lot of water. Still staying away from dairy, but we gonna work with this, y'all. This stuff is still popping up despite all of my due diligence to do better. Take a look at my eyebrows. I have gone through the second session and I'm just gonna tell you straight up right now, um, no, I won't ever do microblading again. It's not the thing for me. I'm gonna tell you why. First, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this primer. That is super moisturizing. Feels like my skin has just had like a spa treatment. Now I'm gonna go in with the tinted moisturizer. I'm gonna place two pumps on my sponge. If you're really not trying to like be all made up, they're just the perfect amount of coverage that gives you like a better finish on your skin but doesn't make it look like you put in that much effort, like you didn't, like the average person might be like, is she wearing makeup or is her skin just beautiful? You know? I'm gonna put a little bit more. So with the eyebrows, the first time around was um, miserable. I actually documented that entire process. I panicked because the scabs was just weird and uncomfortable. Uh, painful, burning, and itching. I know the itching is normal, but um, just like the way that my skin is set up, knowing that I couldn't even like wash or exfoliate my skin. 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 I'm talking about my eyebrows, Papa. You remember when my eyebrows were... You want to go in the backyard with Carter? The only issue that I have with this is like not coming out. So the packaging is cute but I don't know if it's the best. So if you wanna see the video on my experience the first time, you can check that out. I'll link it in the info card 
and then I'll also link it in the description. So the second time around, I went and um, on the way to get my brows touched up, and I'm really excited about it. I'm getting chauffeured today. <laughs> All right, brows are all done. We went thicker this time. They're burning, but yeah, went thicker. And they always look good on the first day. I'm hoping that we can keep a lot of this up. situation you any better you could have said they don't look that dark but you know I appreciate the truth so now I really gotta try to cover the eyebrows uh, what about now I kind of felt like you know I'm not really gonna take the instructions that I had given. I'm not really going to necessarily follow that. I had found some other instructions online, followed those instructions and received better results. And I'll try to find those instructions and I'll link them down below. Cause I think it was two different websites that I kind of took care instructions from. And um, actually this time around, I it was healing a lot better than the way that it was healing went with the instructions that the person that did my brows. My brows still did not necessarily take, but this time around, I at least did get some strokes that stayed. Uh, before, it was just like tinted, like it just bled. You, you saw no strokes, but you saw a bit of color. So I'm just gonna show you, like right there, that dark spot, that's, that's the stroke and I'm combing down so you guys can kind of see those strokes. Those strokes happened the second time around. The first time around, I got none. She did a really great job with the brows. She did a great job with the brows. I just don't believe that I'm a candidate. Actually, I know I'm not a candidate for those brows. With my skin type, the way my skin is set up and the way that the weather in Arizona is set up, it was just like, I was just doomed. The highlighter that I used is Super St Maybelline Super Stay. It's their full coverage under eye concealer in the color tan, number 45. Um, so I'm just gonna set that lightly with a little bit of translucent powder. I'm not going too crazy with the translucent powder because I still want the dewiness, you know. I would not do microblading again. The healing process just sucks. There are other options that are <laughs> not as like traumatic. There are options that'll give you a better result. So for some people, microblading is great. I think that artists that do perform microblading, I think they should have like a little questionnaire and they should ask their client a little bit about their skin, um, ask their client about their like day to day and like how often they wear makeup and um, like kind of like their skincare so they can kind of know and I feel like they need to start like turning away people. Letting a person know maybe this might be the better thing for you. I'm the type of person where I want you to tell me if there's something better for me or something that will give me the result that I'm looking for that matches my lifestyle and how I go about my day to day and my skin and all of that. Um, then to just like having me like 
pay for something that's not gonna work for me. The artist should know, should understand a little bit more about the skin before they do the process. That way you might get someone coming back to you even more. People respect when you give them a suggestion that actually is bomb for them. Um, so really quick, I'm just taking on my finger just a little bit of this highlight. It's the same highlight that I've been wearing forever. It's the Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold. So I ended up doing my own research and found, you know, there's so many other options for, for brows, having bum brows. So really, when I put makeup on, the the way that I put makeup, because I always like cover my brows a little bit, like I still have to like totally redo my my uh, my brows. It, it doesn't really save me time. However, when I'm not wearing makeup, you can kind of see, you can see that there's more definition to my brows, which I do like. I'm not totally bummed on um, the way that my brows turned out because I like the way they look when I'm not wearing makeup. They don't look too done up, but they look, they're, they're, they're more filled in and I do like that, but I know that my brows don't look how microbladed brows typically look. I keep on remembering things that bother me about the brows. So another thing that bothers me is, um, and I, I mention this a lot, the fact that now I am going through this hideous process where I have to let my brow hairs grow back in because she shaved the front of my brow. You guys can see my brow starts right here, but she shaved it up, I guess to get like a sharper look, but that's not what I want. I like my brows to be really bushy toward the front and I like them to start low, not high because the way that my face, my, my face, is shaped like I know my face better than anybody I know exactly how I like my brows to look and I don't like to lift this right here it's important to keep your brows like when you're when when the artist goes to wax or shape your brows whatever method they they use keep your brows as naturally shaped as possible or you just gonna be having like so much work trying to keep up the shape and make it look good. I can't seem to find, kind of looks funky with the different pencils and, and things that I fill my brows in with. I don't know the color that she used on the brows, but I feel like I can't match that color. This is Glossier Brow Flick. I don't love it. I also picked up that new, um, Rihanna brow thing and I don't love that either. I'm just trying to make something work for me. I gotta um, put blush on in just a second, but I'm gonna do this mascara really quick. I'm not doing anything, any eyeshadow on the eyes. I just haven't been in the mood to like go all out with makeup, you guys. I need some blush. Where did I put my blush brush? Da, 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 dee, 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 dee. But anyhow, with the whole microblading um, brows thing, I don't feel like it's something that I needed. It was just a matter of me um, wanting to like try something new to share with you guys. I just wanted to try it out and that's like what I do. I like trying out new things, new beauty products, and I don't mind being the guinea pig that like has to come back and tell the congregation that that ain't it sis if you live in a really hot climate even a humid climate that ain't it sis because it's dry in arizona and you're not supposed to get your brows wet so i can only imagine sis if you live in uh humidity it ain't gonna work <laughs> this is the face with the tinted moisturizer. And I feel like this is a cool, like, simple everyday face. It would take no time at all, but you guys know I was shading here complaining about my eyebrows for a good 30 minutes. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's go ahead and spray the face uh, with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh HA Setting Mist. And normally when I'm doing my makeup, I have my bonnet on, but I didn't bring it in here, so try to block the face, the hair. Mmm, mmm. 
You guys, it smells just like coconut oil. Wow, is there coconut in here? Code pop, y'all got coconut up in here. Where's the box? Where's my fan? Let's... Oh yes, there's coconut water. Right there in the ingredients, that smells delicious. But my skin feels super moisturized and that's really good because lately my skin has been feeling dry. Like, I have oily skin, but when I woke up this morning, cause it's afternoon right now, it's two o'clock. Um, when I woke up this morning and did my skincare routine, moisturized and all of that jazz, went out, got my morning coffee, which was made correct. Thanks Starbucks. Uh, cause I've been complaining lately, you guys have been screwing up in like consecutive days, like three days straight and then got it right and then like four days straight and messed up. It's like, I gotta get some more espresso and then I am gonna get back to making it on my own cause I have this fancy espresso machine and I never use it. The last time I used it was last winter, was in the winter, anyhow. So for the lips, because my battery is dying, I'm gonna use Smashbox Psychic Medium. A lot of people always ask me, what do you have on your lips when I wear this color? So, perfect nude. And this is also ColourPop. It's their So Juicy Clear Gloss. And it's minty. What do you think? Do you like it? I like it. I'm gonna look this side. Hang. I had a couple of boxes that I wanted to unbox with you guys. Cause I don't really do my unboxings on Instagram because I don't know, I'm just kind of over Instagram unboxings. I don't like to watch them. So I feel like if I don't like to watch something, like I don't want to be like doing it if I don't even want to watch, like play my own content back. So this first box is by Juvia's Place and uh, I have never ever used anything from Juvia's Place, but look at how gorgeous that packaging is. My, my, my. Whoa. Okay. What is it? 30 multi-purpose shades. So it's a foundation. Conceal, correct, highlight, and contour. So they're multi-purpose. And I'm guessing they just gave me a bunch of colors to choose the best shades for concealing, correcting, highlighting, and contouring. So thank you so much, Juvia's Place. I'm really excited to try these. Um, Cause like I said, I've never used anything from the brand, but I've uh, heard a lot about it. Comment below and let me know, like be specific Juvia's Place if you want this to be like the next sort of video. Next up, we have a collaboration and this is uh, Nabella's collaboration with elf and it came in this box she is so awesome i love this girl she's such a positive woman the collection uh-oh brush fell out i don't know where this brush was but this is the collection there's a lip cocktail it's mira nude so there's a liner and a lippy which I probably should have tried it in this video, but I will go ahead and try this combo in an upcoming video. Uh, and then there's a gleaming loose highlighter. All the stuff that I'm showing you, comment below and let me know if you're interested in seeing a video on any of this stuff. That way I know to create it right away. This is the brush set. Super duper pretty, super duper pretty and girly. So cute and really soft. You guys don't sleep on e.l.f. products. I feel like higher end brushes and makeup is like always like getting so much love and sometimes I feel like the brands that offer things at a more affordable price tend to get overlooked because people automatically assume that because it's inexpensive that the quality sucks and that is the case in a lot of things but not everything, because sometimes these expensive brands be having crappy products. <laughs> That's really cute, so everything fits in this little envelope clutch. Anything else? And then, this came in yesterday from Pixie Giant Box, and they collaborated with a few influencers 
uh, with Heart, uh, Rach Loves, Chloe Morello and From Head to Toe. I know who Heart is. I don't, I think I know who From Head to Toe is, but I don't know. I can't say that I know these girls, but Heart, I'm definitely familiar with her. And it's just different collaborations. That's really cool. Super duper cute. Y'all let me know what products, what y'all wanna see. Check it out. Yeah, um, again, on this tinted moisturizer, this is like my favorite tinted moisturizer. I think it just looks really, really nice. It doesn't look overly done. Like, that glow is just beautiful. And I like to use affordable products. This Maybelline Master Chrome has been like my favorite for the past few years, I feel like. I think I use it in every single video. And I try to use other highlights, but I always find myself coming back to Mr. Yeah. Y'all y'all know that song? Comment below if you know that song. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And until next time, I wish you nothing but peace and love. Bye.